Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's me, Little Jordan here. And today we're going to continue with the book from yesterday. Alright, how are you today? Are you good? Great. You better get ready because Teacher Jordan is going to exercise with you later. So you better read and relax now because we're going to get moving after, okay? Very good. Alright. Let's begin with where we ended off at. The reader said, Banana! <laughs> oh, the reader said it again. <laughs> banana! So funny. Can you say banana? I know most of you can say it. We've gone, we've learned this many times before. So let's learn a new fruit. Hmm, how about boysenberry? That's right, it has the word boys in it, right? That's a funny name. Boysenberry. It's a type of berry. Cool, you can put it in your jam. Boysenberry. Talking about jam, you can also make peach jelly. Everyone say peach jelly. Very good. How about apple jelly? Wonderful. Hmm, what do you, what kind of jelly do you like? I'm Little Jordan and I like wild berry jelly. Big Jordan likes strawberry jelly and grape jelly. Blueberry jelly he likes too. All right. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Um, Mr. Reading Man, I just told me that some of you also like the Elephant Piggy books, and you read them uh, at home. This is good. Make sure to read and to practice. If you need help knowing what the words say, you can read and you can watch these videos to help you. Okay? All right. Do you want a turn before the book ends? Hmm? Ends? The book ends? Ah! Whoa! Oh no, he, Gerald didn't know that the book has an ending to it. That sucks. Yes. All books end. When will this book end? Whoa. I will look. Page 57. Do you remember how to sign 57? You go five, seven. Oh, wait, that's six. My bad. Fifty-seven. Very good. Fifty-seven. Page fifty-seven? It's page forty-six now. Ugh. Mm. Ah! Now it's page forty-seven. Mm. Hey, Little Jordan. Yeah? Do you mind if I read for a little bit? Yeah, sure, but can I stay in the video? Yeah, 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 it's okay. It's cool. All right, thank you. All right, here I am. I'm right here. You're gonna hear my voice. All right. So let's see, 47 to 57. I wonder how many that is. Let's see. We can go, that's 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, wait, I miscounted, 
53, 54, 55, 56, 57. So how many is that? 10 pages. There's only 10 pages left in this book. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, little Jordan. <laughs> Oops, I almost called you teacher. <laughs> I'm a teacher now. Well, you are a pretty good teacher. Thank you. All right. This book is going too fast. I have more to give. Ah. <laughs> uh? More words, more jokes, more bananas. Uh, uh, I just want to be red. <sighs> ah, I have a good idea. Huh? Uh oh. What do you think? It's so hard to see me from here. What do you think Piggy's idea is? Do you think Piggy is going to say, well, I don't know. I can't give any ideas. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe Piggy will just say that we need to read more of the books. That's my guess. Can you say guess? Guess. In a sentence, you could say, that's my guess. Or you can say, I guess that, for example, I guess that Piggy will say blah, 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 blah. Or you can say, I guess my brother will help me today. Or you can say, I guess mommy is cold. Maybe mom, mommy is putting on a jacket, right? So you can say, oh, I guess mommy is cold. So, guess means I don't know, but I think. I don't know, but I think. All of that one word is guess. I guess that. It is my guess that. Very good. So everyone say, I guess that. Very good. I guess that. Teacher Jordan is awesome. Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Guess. You can also say, you guessed right. Or... You guessed wrong. So, if Teacher Jordan is cold, I put on a jacket. You say, Teacher Jordan, are you cold? I say, yes, you guessed right. But if I put on a jacket, you say, Teacher Jordan, are you hot? I say, no, you guessed wrong. Incorrect. <clears throat> so that is to guess. So we are guessing what Piggy is saying. Hmm, what is she saying? That is a good idea. Weep. I don't know, Teacher Jordan. What did she say? Let's flip the page. Everyone say flip. Everyone say flip. Very good. Flip. Flip the page. Flip is like this. So let's say, oopsie, I just knocked the camera. Okay. So this is a book. I know, I know, it's a it's a receipt, but we're gonna pretend it's a book. Okay? So this is the book, and you're reading the book. So flip the page is to do this. Now you see the next page. Not close, but flip. Hello, will you got confused with my buttons there. Hello, will you please read us again? I hope this works. Me too! I think it does work, because I like reading Elephant and Piggy. Again, and again, and again. Aww. Good memories with Elephant and Piggy, right? Alright, everyone read this one with me. You know how to read it. The end. As a side note, the is pronounced two ways. You can say the and the. The, the. Both are correct. In fact, I say the and I also say the all the time. It's very interchangeable. For example, I could say, I went to the store, I went to the store, I went to the store, I went to the store. 
they're both correct. I Mer Americans that I know of, they say both ways all the time. It's just two ways to say it both all the time. So yeah. But in this case, it's more common to say the end, but saying the end is also okay too. So everyone say with me, say the end. Very good. So I think most of you already know how to say that. So let's go to today's project. So I had no idea what I was going to do for the project today. And then I did this. I'm like, oh man, I got a good idea for you. So when I was a kid, one of the things that teachers made us do is they made us make a lick little books. So today we're going to need some scissors and we're going to need paper. I think any size paper works. I don't think it actually matters, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to look into it real quick, but we're going to be making little books out of, out of paper. And then you can draw on it, or you can do your own elephant and piggy book. Okay? So, let's try it out. Alright everyone, I was able to adjust the camera. So first we're going to start off with a normal sheet of paper, just like this. Again, I think most sizes of paper work, but you might have to change some of the rules. All right, everyone, you might need a pen for this. You might need some scissors. So this is what I got. Now with scissors, make sure you have your parents help you because we don't want anyone getting hurt. We want to be safe. All right, so you want to fold it hot dog style to start off with. So in order to get a really, really good fold, I like to make sure that it lines up perfectly. And then I fold this way. There's probably a better way to do it. I'm not perfect at this. But, oops, I'm scratching it up. There we go. We want to fold hot dog style, just like that. Very good. All right. Now we're going to unfold it. So we'll use our pen to mark where this is. You don't have to do this. It's okay not to do it, but I'm going to. Just so you can see it on the camera. So this is where our line is. So now we're going to fold it hamburger style, just like this. hamburger style and then we also unfold again just like that as you see here now we have a line so now we see where the lines are let's fold this back again <clears throat> then we want to fold it this way as you'll see it bends just like this that's the correct way and the other side will bend outside it'll bend down so we have from here we go fold twist Okay, the next one's also very easy. They're all very easy. You want to take the bottom right here, and you want to fold up. As you can see, now we see this line again. So you fold up just like this, all the way to the top. Okay, then you flip it over, just like this. Again, this is where we were, and we're just flipping over, like that. And we do the same thing, we fold up. As you can see, I'm seeing the line again now. Very good. And the better and straighter, well, the straighter the better. There we go. Straight, the, the straighter the better. Can you say that with me? The straighter, straighter. Very good. The straighter the better. It's like, yeah, 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 la, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So, the straighter the better. All right, now here's the part where we're going to need scissors now. This part is very important, so we're going to want to take, we want to cut, so we have, this is what we have. We have this situation, okay? Now we want to play with it, see this is what we got. Cool. So, we want to go back to where we were. This is where we were. And we see this part right here is the folded part. So, we want to make a nice line right here. From here to here and we're gonna cut that again this part is the paper okay again you might want your parents to help you I don't know the rules of your house and just cut very carefully you want to be nice and neat all right Let's see if I can get that close to the camera okay and just cut very neat, very straight. All right. There we go. And what you're going to be left with is now we got this flappy thing. 
if you undo it, you will see this. It has a mouth. It's like a paper with a mouth in it. I'm Mr. Mouth. Right? <laughs> Every time I see it, I think of a mouth. So yeah, it's like a big mouth. And that's exactly what you want. So the next thing you're going to want to do is very easy. You're going to want to fold it back along this line, just like that. Then hold it up like this. And then just push in. It makes like a little cross, right? Just like that. Okay? And then you just take your hands and you push them some way. So in this case, I think they want to go this way. So we we'll go this way. There we go. They all want to go this way. And so then I press down, I fold it nice and good like that. And now we have a book. So, I understand in Japan, people read this way, and you open up the book and you go this way. That's okay. In America, we go this way. We start from the left to right. Remember, left and right. And so now, we can write our own book. What is my book going to be called? What should I call it? Hmm. How about... The, because remember we know the word the, so let me make it closer to you. The what? The adventures. Ad -ven -tures. The adventures of, of who? Maybe I will say koala. Koala. The Adventures of Koala. <laughs> so then I can draw Matt. That's on the nose. That's a bad nose. I'm so sorry I messed that up. So we can draw Matt and we can draw, uh, let's see, we can draw April. We have Matt, we have April, let's see, we can also have Rafi. Like that. So here's just a little drawing. I have some, some children in here, some of you. The Adventures of Koala. <laughs> there we go. And so then in the book, there's page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, page six. So there's six pages. And of course, there's a back cover. So I want to see you guys make your own book just like this. Okay? And, and write whatever, write or draw anything you want to do. Okay? Make your own adventure story. And then we can, we can discover that together. Hmm... Let's go ahead and practice signing real quick. So koala. Koala is K. So we'll do K like this. So if looking at so this is K O A L, but you'd see like this. L A K W A A Koala. Very good. Koala. V. So, T, H, H, and then E. So, T makes the ta 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 sound. So, ta, 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 and then ha, 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 H sound. So, that makes th, th, th. Your, your teeth will touch your tongue. Th, th, th. And th, the, so now it's the. The Adventures of Koala. Oh, and you have to put your name on it. By. Oops. It's not writing. Why isn't it writing? Well, um. I guess I'm not putting my name in it, but. 
by Teacher Jordan. <laughs> All right, goodbye everyone. Thank you for joining today.